So here's an example of a rational equation. We do want to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. What sometimes is helpful is to factor all the denominators. Now in this case, the x squared minus 1, hopefully you can kind of picture in your head is x plus 1, x minus 1, which happens to be the factors that are there already. So hopefully we can do this one without actually literally writing out the, uh, the factored version, but sometimes it does help. Now something else that I'll sometimes do personally is off to the side, I'll remind myself, no matter what I get, x can't be negative 1 and x can't be 1. Those are the values that would make my denominator equal to 0, so I'm going to write them off right off the get-go, get and that way I don't accidentally report them, because sometimes you go through a whole bunch of steps, and then you sort of get your answer, and you're so happy because you went through all these steps, and you forget about that step to say, oh yeah, let me make sure my bottom was at 0. So, we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCD. Oops, what did I write 3 for? <laughs> I have no idea. So our LCD in this case should be x plus 1 times x minus 1. So we're going to multiply that on both sides of the equation. But again, in other words, what's going to happen here is we're going to multiply this into the top of each of them. Because literally, I'm multiplying it on the left, so I distribute, I multiply on the right, it ends up in the top. So I'm going to have, oops, let me switch back to black ink. I'm going to have 2 times x plus 1, x minus 1, over x plus 1. Then I'm going to have 3 times x plus 1, x minus 1, over x minus 1, and then equals 5 times x plus 1, x minus 1, over x plus 1, x minus 1. Now, I know this is a lot to write, and I know a lot of people like to skip steps, but I will tell you, when you write out every step, not only are you less likely to make mistakes because so much is going on in your head, but also it's easier to find your mistakes and see where they happen if you write out all your steps. But when you start to skip steps, you're starting to do more inside your head, and that's when mistakes happen. We're going to write it out. And so now we're going to say, I have an x plus 1 over an x plus 1. Those guys divide out. I've got an x minus 1 over an x minus 1. Those guys divide out. I've got an x plus 1 over an x plus 1. They divide out. And I've got an x minus 1 over an x minus 1. They divide out. So all I'm left with from the first fraction is a 2 and an x minus 1. From the second fraction, the 3 and the x plus 1, and on the right hand side, just left with 5. And at this point we have a pretty straightforward linear equation to solve. We're going to go ahead and distribute, distribute, we're going to combine some like terms, we're going to subtract the 1 to the other side, we're going to divide by the 5, get 4 fifths, four-fifths was not one of my disallowed values. So remember, I wasn't allowed to have one, I wasn't allowed to have negative one, and so my answer actually is four-fifths, and it works.